Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Joren of Triplus as I like to make myself known online. And today um, I want to do a very quick unboxing of the Trap Free Motion Sensor. Um, it's nothing too special, but I've been unboxing a lot of the Trap Free um, devices, so I thought it would be a, a quick and fun video to also unbox this one. Um, as, uh, as you guys may know, um, right now I don't really have the Traps Free Hub set up anymore. Um, I'm using the Decons Combi 2 um, uh, yeah, stick and I will also be connecting this to that. So oh, I just want to say I remember the Traps Free device being packed very well. I just lifted this off and it's fine. So we have this. Um, we apparently have two batteries and uh, a sticky double-sided tape. Ooh, okay, I can open it with my nail apparently. There's a little screw here. Let me get a screwdriver. There we go. Okay, let's put in the batteries. Um, the minus needs to be down both are in let's put this back Okay, I'm just going to leave it open like this for now. Uh, let's see what else the manual has to say. Nothing special. I'm going to start the pairing now, but with my uh, combi device. So let's go. I'm also recording my screen. Um, so let's see. It's I guess it's a sensor. I want to add new sensor, a Philips one, a motions. Well, it's not Philips. It's IKEA, but it's indeed a motion sensor. Uh, back of the device, four times within four seconds. The red start to blink on success blinked, light will flash briefly. I cannot click ready, so that's, oh, it's still, it's still burning. I'm going to move it closer to my to my stick. Oh, never mind, it just jumped to ready. I hope I didn't break it. Uh, so I'm trying to see if it will detect motion or not. Uh, start is not reachable. I may have broken the... So let's... Ah, uh, detected. Okay, so it's motion detected. Okay, so I've been reading for a little bit um, and apparently it's working fine. So I indeed checked the, checked the, the motion detection. It's almost instant um, and it just stays on for, I think it was 60 seconds because that's just how the sensor works. It sends a signal of detected um, and then uh, it has a cooldown of 60 seconds where the motion stays as detected and then it turns off again. Um, well, when no motion is detected uh, and it will trigger again uh, when when motion is starting to be detected um so i think that's a good thing um for me the next steps now are to include into home assistant set up some automations and so on and i'm, I'm sure you will see it in in some coming videos in the meantime i also did figure out the little buttons on the back um this here so the the half circle and the full circle mean that yeah if you have normal lights and you pair this to a light, you say it only goes on for 30% or it goes on for 100%. Uh, I don't think this has impact in, uh, in Decons or Home Assistant. And then this little, um, so the, if it wants to focus, come on, 
there we go so the little sun and, and moon icon this means if it should detect so now it's the sun now it's the moon so this means it will detect during day and during night and the moon will only detect during night so at least that's what i understand i'm not sure how much impact there is on the um on the decons up or in home assistant if you link it with that but anyway i'm going to play around with this little um motion sensor a bit and i will report back in a future video for sure i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing it's a very small but good looking sensor i think you can put it on its side you can put it on the wall there's like the the double-sided tape uh, included so very neat little thing uh, apparently it's also waterproof but don't quote me on that um, and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it see you again in the next one bye